with Read to Me, Mrs. C. Learning through reading is fun. Yippee! So let's open a book and we'll have an explore. The more that we read will mean you're learning more. Why, hello there, and welcome back to Read to Me, Mrs. C. It's thrilling to see you. Spring is in the air, and where I live, some days that means it's sunny and warm. Some days it's sleet outside and freezing, or even snow on the ground. And lots of days are windy. Take a look out of the window where you are and see what kind of a day it is. Describe it now. Okay, well today our little grumpy monkey gets spring fever. Grumpy monkey spring fever is written and illustrated by this awesome team of Suzanne Lang. Max Lang. Published by Penguin Random House. One spectacular spring day, Jim Pansy woke feeling silly. He leaped off his branch and ran through the jungle, laughing and shouting. Why do I feel so silly? Jim wondered. Well, maybe you have spring fever, suggested Norman from next door. Ah, spring fever, said Jim. Oh, no. And off he ran. What's the matter, Jim? Asked Water Buffalo. Oh, I need to find a cure for my spring fever, said Jim. Spring fever isn't really a fever, said Water Buffalo. It's when the spring weather gives you lots of energy. You need to calm down, said Oxpecker. The other animals tried to help Jim calm down. You should take a bath. But try not to splash. You should wrap yourself in warm blankets and take calming breaths. You should take a nap. You should drink tea. Or sniff some lavender. You should be quiet and sit still. You should put cucumber slices on your eyes. And take a time out. Finally, Jim looked calm. But he didn't feel calm inside. I don't want to be calm, Jim shouted. Our little friend Grumpy Monkey Jim is struggling right now. Use your words and tell me what you know is happening in the story. You can push the pause button and tell somebody. Pecker. All of Jim's energy 
turned into anger. Ah, catch this, yelled Jim. He was about to throw a cucumber at Oxpecker. When Norman showed up, Are you okay? Norman asked. No, said Jim. I can't get rid of my spring fever, and now I have too much energy. Having lots of energy is a good thing, said Norman. Just enjoy your spring fever and do spring things. Spring things, said Jim. What are spring things? The other animals had lots of ideas for spring things Jim could do. You could decorate eggs and hide them. And try to find them. You could wear a bonnet. You could pet baby animals. You could play ball. You could splash colors on your friends. You could plant flowers. And give a few to your mom. You could listen to a long story and then eat a special dinner. You could climb a tree. Jim felt like doing all of that. And so he put on a bonnet, petted some baby animals, listened to a story, ate a special dinner, and planted and picked and gifted and climbed and played and splashed and painted and hid and searched and shouted, I have spring fever and I don't care who knows it. Jim was having so much fun, the other animals wanted to join in. I've caught Jim's spring fever, said Oxpecker. Us too, said the others. It's a spectacular day to have spring fever, said Norman. Everyone agreed. And off they ran, laughing and shouting through the jungle. Jim had a lot of energy, and he didn't really know how to control it. In fact, it was so bubbly that he started to feel a different emotion, anger. I'm sure happy that his friend Norman and all of the other jungle friends showed him ways to use that energy in a positive way. Think about what today's message is and make sure you tell a friend about it. If you enjoyed this book and you'd like to own it, there's a link below where you can support the author and the illustrator of these wonderful books. Okay, my friend, until I see you again, please help me say it. Keep on reading. Hey, watch this video again, or if you own the book, go through the pages because there are 25 striped eggs hidden in the pages of this book. How many can you find?